What is going on everyone? It is Fatal Reaver today, bringing you a video and today we're doing a video on the new Xbox Series X controller. So before we get into this video guys, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So let's go ahead and talk about, so this is a comparison between, again, the Series X new controller and the Xbox One S controller or Xbox One uh, controller for that matter. Basically the same thing. And we're going to go over the noticeable differences first and kind of differences you might not have th thought about. So, and the first thing you're going to notice, obviously, is the new D-pad, and this kind of goes, um, kind of looks like the uh, Elite One controllers with the D-pad and everything, and it just feels so smooth, so, um, just so much smoother, so much more uh, clickable <laughs> in that way. I'm not saying that the Xbox One X or the Xbox One controller is bad or anything like that. Um, it's, you know, it's one of my favorites of all time uh, still. But, and then the next thing we're going to notice, obviously, the D-pad's one of them. The second thing you're going to notice is the little dip. You can see right in here, there's a little dip that goes down. They've kind of completely removed that, which is a lot more sleek looking over uh, the top there. Se uh, the third notice noticeable difference, probably the first you'll notice, is this new button we have right here in the middle. And all that really is is just a new share button uh, that you can share some of your uh, clips, content, everything else. Um, the next thing you're going to notice, actually, and you might not notice right away because I didn't, the new um, toggle, the anal analog sticks. So if you'll notice, they kind of go a little deeper in. Looks like they're kind of deeper in. And they are, these are a lot more set almost a higher, a little bit higher up. And you can kind of see the size comparison difference between the two controllers there. Um, the, the Xbox One S controller is actually a little bit, it's a little bit bigger. You can notice that the new Series X is just a tad bit smaller. Not a big difference there, but I actually like that to be quite frankly honest. And we're going to go over something new. Also, now they have a... I believe it's called a USB uh, Type C port now for um, the controller to plug in wired. Um, so you will have to look out for that and get a new cord if you're looking to play wired like I do. Or you can just have a wireless adapter, obviously, and play wirelessly like I do on the computer. Or, you know, if you're playing on the Xbox One, uh, obviously it will just connect like normal. So the other thing you're going to notice that right here on the back, the triggers now have this, like, soft rubber, rubber kind of like the analog sticks. And it just feels so so much more it just such so 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 much smooth so um it just feels so much better i mean you know these were just hard plastic and you know they're not bad or anything like that um but they just this just adds a world of difference so much better not only one another thing you're gonna notice the xbox one s controller was kind of slick like i've sometimes i would feel like it was gonna slide out of my hand but if you'll notice it's just hard plastic now they've added this kind of like soft soft rubber again on the back here of the um handles and it just helps so much better i just do not feel like i'm gonna drop this at all it feels so so slick so smooth and just so overall better um so i do have to say that it is, it is very fit non-slick um and just a very good fit in your hand especially for gaming and stuff like that uh, another thing you, we're gonna let you uh, if you can see here in the box that you can now it is compatible with xbox one x the Xbox One S, the regular Xbox One, Windows 10, Android, and iOS compared to the other other um, Xbox controller over here that was actually only compatible with the Xbox S and the, um, obviously the Xbox One, and then Windows 10, I think, was the it for that, and they didn't have any more. There's, so there, those are the, the pretty much the main differences and everything like that, um, and of course the padded controllers and stuff like that we talked about. Mm -hmm or padded, uh, padded back, new padded back, and the new triggers as well. Um, the bumpers are a little bit different as well. They feel a lot more, uh, I don't know, I feel like I get, I would get a better response. And as far as the gameplay goes, um, I, I tend to do a, or I plan to do a video later on of the gameplay and everything. Uh, I, so far, the gameplay is just insane on this thing. I mean, I just feel so much more at home. I just feel like I have such more, uh, just a better overall gaming experience, quite frankly, to be honest with you with this. So I have to say they have outdone themselves with these. Um, I just have a better performance and have had uh, nothing wrong with this controller whatsoever. And I've just had a great time playing with it and everything like that. So this is my video, guys, on the comparison between the Xbox um, S controller and the new Xbox Series X controller. Uh, if you guys want to see this controller, the pricing, and you want to go get it, go get it now in the link, uh, link down below. And, uh, guys, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.